morning. It's science time. Today we're going to have a STEM challenge. Um, so ready? This is what we're going to do today. That's right. We are going to make a rocket and that's part of our STEM challenge. And what I really like for you to do is complete this challenge and post your results on our Facebook Live or on YouTube, on our YouTube channel for McDowell County Schools, our live instruction. So let's get started. The first thing you need is a straw. And I have a reusable straw because that's what we use in our house. Yes, we do. Now go here. These are our plans, okay? So I've made it with, um, English measure as well as metric. So let's just talk about everything that we need. You're going to need a piece of paper and I am using recycled paper because why not recycle while we're doing this whole process? We need tape, we need a ruler, we need scissors, we need a straw, you need a pencil and scissors. Did I say scissors? Okay, that's all that we need. So let's talk about our measurements, okay? so. We need, with our piece of paper, we need a rectangle. I have four and a half by two and a half inches or 11 and a half centimeters by six and a half centimeters, okay? Cut out nice and precise, okay? And that's gonna be the body of our rocket. Then we need fins, because our fins are what drives our flight and our distance, right? Or our direction. So it is in this shape and when you do your challenge, which I hope that you do, this is what you're going to change. This is the variable, can be one of the variables that you change, okay? So this whole width is two and a half inches, um, which is six and a half centimeters. Each of those fins is an inch, which is two and a half centimeters. And this, the height of this is one and a half inches. Okay, so, are we ready? Then, another thing that we're gonna have is our nose cone, and that's that tip that goes on the end of our rocket, you know, to cut the air. <coughs> Excuse me. So, the diameter of this is two and a half inches or five centimeters, okay? And this is another variable that you could change. No nose cone, nose cone, whatever. So again, this is our materials. We need paper, we need straw, pencil, tape and scissors. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, I have already cut out those component parts, okay? So I have my fins, I have my circle, that's gonna be my nose cone, I'm gonna show you how to cut that to make that shape, and then I have our rectangle. Okay, so again, told you, recycle paper. So, we take our pencil, I've been to Princeton, <clears throat> and we are going to wrap it around this rectangle around our pencil really, really tightly to make the body of our rocket. And I'm rolling it super, super tight, okay? I want it nice and straight and nice and tight because we don't want any air to get into that as it's trying to fly, okay? Because that'll slow down and have it not travel as far. And we really want to because our challenge is to see how far our rocket can travel. Does this design work at when we're competing for distance traveled? Okay, because that's what we're gonna measure. Okay, so we have that nice and tight. Now we're gonna keep it on there and then we're gonna put our fins on there. Now notice our fins have um, a top portion and a bottom portion. And that's so that we can tape this top and this bottom to the body of our rocket without interfering with the fins themselves. So. Let's decide where we're gonna place it. For me, for my challenge this time, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna line up that bottom part of our fin, because this is gonna be our top, with that bottom part of our rocket, okay? So, I'm gonna move it up just a little bit so I can tape, and I have some teeny tiny pieces of tape that I've already pulled out. So, I'm gonna line that up, I'm gonna tape it. I'm not taping it to my pencil, because I'm gonna pull that off there, because our um, straw is going to be our propulsion, our propulsion, nice word to say so early in the morning. So then we have this, we take that top part. <clears throat> then on the back side, again, see I told you, recycle paper. I'm gonna line that up because I want it to be exactly like the other fin that we put on there. 
while I'm doing this, I want to go ahead and talk about our PPE. Notice that I'm wearing my goggles. I'm wearing closed-toed shoes. See? Thank you, Matt. That's twice I've given him a shout-out and I hadn't heard anything back. Hope everything's okay in Florida. Now, once we have this, I need to look at my fins, okay? I know that this is not a great angle for them, so I'm gonna change their angle, and I'm gonna fold them up so that it looks just like that, okay? Are we good? Do you see that? See our angle of our fins, okay? Now I need to decide on our nose piece, okay? Notice that I made my center mark, and that's where I'm gonna cut to. I'm gonna cut that little radius, you know, because half the diameter is the radius, so that I can form it into a cone, right? Like a little hat, okay? So when you play with your design, this is what you can manipulate. So are you gonna have um, a nose cone? Are you not gonna have a nose cone? Maybe you want to make your nose cone sharper, which means you're gonna make your, you're gonna bring it in just a little bit more to make it a smaller diameter, or you're gonna make it wider, so it's gonna cut um, air in a wider angle. It's totally up to you. That is your design, okay? Now we need to put our nose cone on our rocket, so we slide that off. Whoops, put that on there. And I'm gonna tape it on the inside I'm gonna tape it on both sides on the inside so it can cut that air. Whoops, my tape got on my straw, but that's okay. So, maybe we wanna tape it that way. Yeah, let's do it, let's do it that way. So another thing that you can do is how are you gonna tape it on there? That could be a variable that you change when you do your design, okay? So I keep on talking about these variables, like what you can do, and that's the whole point of scientific design is you, come up with a question. Well, I think my rocket would fly farther if I did blah, blah, blah. Okay, and you have to decide what you're gonna do. That nose piece just does not look right. So maybe I should put it out there. Maybe I wanna do it that way. Maybe I just wanna pinch it. I'm okay with that. Let's try that. I don't know, we'll try that. So let's look at what we're going to do to gather our data. Okay, so <laughs> remember, if you're not writing down what you're doing, it's just messing around. Okay, you can just get the board, you don't need me. Okay, so this is the original design with those measurements. Okay, so trial one, we're going to measure that distance that it travels. So how do we measure the distance? We have to measure from the person that is exerting the air to the actual distance that the rocket traveled. Now we're gonna do this three times. Why do we need to do that? Well, we do that because there are all kinds of variables that can come into play to make sure that we have an accurate measure. So we get our three trials, and then what do we think that we do? Hmm, I wonder if an average, would we take an average? Sure, to see that distance travel. And then we'll talk about why it happened. Why did trial one go this distance? Why did trial three go that distance, okay? And then let's get an average of distance traveled. Hmm. Then the thing that we're going to do now is you come up with your design. What are you going to do differently? Come back to here, okay? So are you going to change that fin, the size or the shape? Maybe you're gonna change the placement. Maybe have it higher here or lower there, okay? But remember, just change one thing from the original design. Nose cone, no nose cone. Nose cone bigger, nose cone smaller. What are you going to do? Maybe you're gonna use the original design and put a paper clip here and there to add some weight. Maybe you wanna put a paper clip here and here just to add weight, to see what kind of variation you can make to see whether your rocket, that nose cone is just janked up, to see what can you do differently to make your rocket fly farther, okay? So now, we've got our rocket, we put it into our straw, and then what do we, 
and then I'm not going to shoot you, I promise. And then we, we're going to measure from here to where that rocket travels. Are you ready? You're going to get that? Ready? And, whoop, wrong, didn't go all the way. I wonder if my nose cone has a, plays a role. It's not on there. So something's wrong. So we've got to go back to the drawing board. So what's wrong? I know it's that nose guard, that nose piece. It's not right. So I need to make it up there tighter. Yep, there we go. So that should answer a question, like whether we need it or not. Maybe you just need to pinch the end of it. Let's try the trial now. What is wrong with my rocket? The other one flew. You see it over there? From here to there? So what have I done wrong? Hmm. What have I done? I've got to go back to the drawing board. Okay, let's take this off. It has to be that. I'm going to pinch the end of my straw, of my paper straw, my paper rocket, I should say. Let's put a little piece of tape there. Is that my issue? Then I take my nose piece back on there, put it back on my straw. Are you ready? And there it travels. So then all I have to do is measure the distance between me, the source of that air, that, that force, and the distance that my rocket traveled. The distance that my rocket traveled. The distance that my rocket traveled. Okay? And then that's my trial one. I come back to that same spot. I do my trial two. Come measure that. Record that. Come back to my trial three. Yes? No, I don't need my rocket. Okay? So you can come back to here. Okay? That's my original design. So what are you going to do after you do your original design to change that design to complete your STEM challenge? Okay? So that's for you. I uh, hope to see your information. Don't forget to record your data. Make a new table for your, your design. So that's your STEM challenge for today. All right. Happy Thursday.